Hello my wonderful children and welcome back to the YouTube channel of a slag with a lot of time on his hands. Uh, Happy New Year everybody! See I thought I'd start the year off by um doing another commentary video like I was gonna do. This is gonna be... this is another episode of uh, what's it called? Your boy stories or whatever the heck I chose to call it. Jesus Christ, it just gets worse and worse. Anyway, this story is about racism, apparently. Um, or people who think racism. <laughs> it, it's a really dumb story, but it's going to make a lot of sense by the time I'm done. So there's this thing, right, called the Competitive Racing Club, which, you know, it's a league racing series for people who are into league racing. You know, if you play racing simulators and all that other stuff. And we had our boys, our two antagonists, uh, Mr. Marshmallow and Mr. Congonzetti. So anyways, we'd always race on Saturdays and stuff, you know, like 3 p.m. Eastern time or whatever. And, you know, I'm there, I'm chilling, you know, doing my thing, doing my little practice runs, because, you know, I'm a driving god. And then we get to talking about, uh, politics or something, and, like, social issues. And, uh, my disgusting racist of a friend, Ashley, starts, uh, talking about, you know, his views and all this other stuff. And then, oh no, red flag. Something terrible happens. So yeah, um, Mr. Congonsetti and Mr. Marshmallow start going off about how some certain things are racist. We were also in a group chat at one point because we, for the most part, we were pretty good friends. But we, we, you know, we we have our disagreements and stuff. And when we had our disagreements. They were pretty bad. So let me describe what these kind of guys are like. What these kind of guys? Let me describe these two guys to you. Mr. Congonsetti is. Uh, if you could think of like an incel who doesn't want to be an incel, that's basically what Mr. Congonsetti is. He's basically a guy who's like, he's trying really hard to not be, you know, he's involuntarily an incel, if that makes any sense. He wants to get the poon poon, but he can't get the poon poon because, you know, he, he when he whenever he comes around, I think, I think the ladies they can smell that uh, he's a, um, he, he's a weirdo, and also he's into politics like uh, the far left stuff. So, you know. There's um th that that describes that, Mister Mister Marshmallow. However, Mister Marshmallow now, Mister Marshmallow is a vegan Jesus. Well, I say that he doesn't believe in Jesus, but he believes that uh, we all must eat not cows, or we shall all die of cancer. And let me tell you, folks, but Mister Marshmallow, man, he always made me feel guilty. I always had to deal with being on the wrong side of hashtag history, pal. Because I was a black guy who didn't dis who didn't think that everything was racist that was under the sun, you know. I mean, and I mean, me, Ash, the disgusting and horrible racist, and Jake, the disgusting slag, and Bart, the I don't know what the hell's wrong with Bart, but you know, we we also ate meat, so you know, we were just we're horrible people, like we're really really bad people. So they then proceed to lecture us about how. <laughs> how our opinions are wrong and theirs are right, yada yada yada, you know, those kinds of people, and how CRC is turning into a racist thing, uh, this other guy, AJ, Mr. Hashtag Long Neck, is racist, and I, sh I, 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 I shit you not, at one point, we were talking, and you know me, I'm, I'm talking because I'm talking to my friends, and this is how I talk to my friends, so I blurt out the n-word in the chat, because I was black. <laughs> I had, to, I, I, I had to make that known because that's how we live these days. Everybody has to tell you what race they are and stuff. And my bad, I'm not black. I'm a person of color. I'm still black. Anyways, but me and uh, me, me and my friends were chilling, and I, I'm Jake says something hilarious, uh, and I'm like, oh wow, this uh, this nigga funny. And Alan, I swear, this is not a joke. Alan literally hands me a 24-hour chat ban suspension. <laughs> <laughs> he tells me, hey, hey, you can't say the n-word, bro, even though I know that you're black, but you can't say the n-word because it's offensive. I'm like, bro, do you understand how weird this looks? By the way, I'm, I mean, I'm not one of the people who cares about race like that or, or cares about the use of the n-word like that, but like, in my opinion, it's just a word, but he was like, you can't use the n-word. I'm like, Ellen, are you telling me how to be black? I'm like, yeah, I'm just like, no, haha, I'm not telling you how to be black, but it's offensive. I was like, offensive to who? I'm the only black person in this league. I'm the Lewis Jamilton of this league. But that passes, and then me and Spencer start arguing about economics, and he's like, oh, Canada's better than the United States. I'm like, <laughs> sure. And he tells me that I am. Um, kids, uh, 
kids are underprivileged in the United States because of the government and all this other stuff. And I'm just like, yeah, whatever, dude, just stay your igloo ass over there in Canada. And, you know, he, he, he's, he's, I'm telling him that like a lot of things that happen to people in the countries because of the way they choose to go about life. You know, people make bad decisions, so people make good decisions. I don't think that institutional racism is a thing. And then he goes ahead and tells me, he's like, well, you can only say that because you have uh, African privilege. I'm like, what, what, what? I didn't know African privilege. Was, I thought white privilege was the only thing that was, you know, what's the privilege. And I immediately bust out laughing. He's like, you got to take me seriously, bro. African privilege is a real thing. <clears throat> it's real. All those African kids who are starving to death, you know, in the camps, in the detention camps and crossing rivers on like life life rafts trying to get to Europe and Spain and lots of the places they have African privilege the black people in America are the ones who are who are oppressed and I'm just like Mr. Marshmallow you 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 be tripping man I think you need to go to the doctor and find out if uh, if there's too many marshmallows in your brain or something so in I guess not in response but like a few weeks go by or whatever we stop using uh Facebook chat and we move over to Discord, you know, because the league's growing, new people are coming in, uh, pause, and all this other stuff, and uh, Mr. Marshmallow becomes the moderator, uh, Alan Congantetti, our chief communist leader in, in, in charge, becomes president for life and all this other stuff, you know, Discord is going pretty well, but, you know, it's, it's taking, at some point, the socialism's going to creep in, and it slowly starts to creep in, and for whatever reason, my 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 boy Mr. Marshmallow decides to name himself the chief anti-racism officer of the league. <laughs> what, what does a chief anti-racism officer look like? What is he like? A cop who runs around with like um like what like handcuffs? He's like ah oh, hey you hey there racist come over here. What are you what what are you fucking white? You must be a racist. You dis yeah yeah yeah. You're definitely a racist. What are you, a colonizer, huh? What, are you going to get ahead over to Africa and go start cultivating plants or something? What? Cultivating plants? What the hell am I talking about? And honestly, I'm not making fun of racism. I know there's people who've been victims of racism, myself included. I was at a gas station one time. I was walking out and a white lady looked at me and she went, Hey there, you Nintendo 64, I'm the trucker. What are you doing? 